Parallel, but that's what's at stake and it seems India has done the first job really, really well. They've put up a good total for Bangladesh to chase and given their bowling in the World Cup so far, it will be an uphill task for Bangladesh. But we were talking, you mentioned about that uh, incident with Rohit Sharma, isn't it? Before his century, uh, you know, task in bowling was it uh, uh, or ruble was it? And then waist high ball, given well, a no ball, yeah. and it didn't seem like a no ball at all, even at first sight. Yeah, umpire Gould called it very early. Yeah. Um, and it was only, it was sort of, it was high thigh, but it was, oh, I didn't think it was anywhere, <coughs> Close excuse to me, being a no. anywhere near Rowett's waist. Yeah. And it was a big call early on. And as you saw, Rowett, he sort of broke the shackles and he really started to sort of yeah. flow, yeah. As, we, as we know Rowett can play. And he probably, he's probably added 15 or 20 runs just off his own bat to this total, which, which could be very interesting if the game gets tight. You know, if Bangladesh are chasing 275, 280, it's a different, it's a different yeah, it's a total different to, to, to over 300. So, interesting call. Let's hope it, it doesn't become a big, a big yeah. Ball. And it was uh, you know one one was wondering whether Bangladesh would uh, uh, you know go to DRS mode, but they'd already lost one of their challenges. Uh, one sometimes is too less you feel, but that was such a crucial moment in the match for both sides, isn't it? Well, absolutely. And in the, in the World Cup quarterfinal, ten runs could make all the difference, yeah. and Rohit got many many more uh, than that. So I guess, but I thought the empire was a little too quick. In calling that as a no ball, yeah. normally you see uh, they consult a little absolutely. bit, absolutely, yeah. and then they, or they look at each other, give exactly. a little nod or here or there, but nothing of the sort. You know, as soon as the ball was hit off Roy's bat, the arm was out, calling it a no ball. So I guess he was very confident that he saw it. So we've had this debate about technology, mm. and then you know the human error. So you've either got to use technology or you've got to allow human error, and, and this is a case where if Bangladesh get close. They've yeah. got a very, very it's good case difference. to argue. Yeah. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens. Absolutely. They will obviously look back at this moment and wonder what if, because uh, that was uh, by no stretch of imagination a no ball and could have been a very, very crucial wicket for Bangladesh. But 303 is what the target is up in front of them. They will now be focused to get that target against a very, very effective and good Indian bowling side. We're going to slip into a very short break, come back for final comments, discuss India's bowling a little bit in detail and then of course prepare for that second innings. Welcome back, you're watching the Cup That Matters. We're in the knockout second quarterfinal today. India playing Bangladesh and 302 is what they've put up. Is that really enough uh, given the way the World Cup has gone? Or can the Bangladesh uh, batting lineup uh, give Indians a run for their money? Let's go back across uh, to Borea, who's being swarmed by fans once again. A very good party for both sides, isn't it, Borea? Bangladesh fans and Indian fans uh, are. Uh, uh, are Indian fans more in number? Are they dominating or is it the other way? No, it is Indian fans all the way, Shivani, at least in the middle of the innings. 302 should be enough. That's what they feel, as you can see. They are having the party starting here in Melbourne. You know, the point you all were discussing, that catch and that half a millimeter run out of Suresh Raina, I think has done Bangladesh. Okay, let's have a cheer. Jitega by Jitega! about Rohit Sharma's century the today. India versus Pakistan is the next match. <laughs> yes, Shivani, go ahead. Yeah, I was just go wanting ahead, to ahead. ask you, what do the fans think about Rohit Sharma's century today? <laughs> okay, what do you think of Rohit Sharma's century? Amazing player. He proved his worth. I think he's, he's best and he's going to go go become bigger than Sachin Tendulkar. Wow. wow. Okay. I just want to say, I just Indian, wanna... Indian batsmen doing on your job and have to be now, Wallace have to be win man. This man, India! I want, I want Suresh Raina to like hit a couple of sixes and he did today. Yeah. And he was pretty good. Scoring? I'm um, scoring in the depth overs. He was really good. That's what India wanted. And now we want the bowlers to do their job. Yeah. We definitely have won the match. Well, you know, Shivani, everyone's confident that 302 is almost enough. The job is half done. But for the fans here, the party is about to start. Boya, so they think it's, it's done for, for sure. Yeah. Boya, you know the MCG very well. It's a good batting track. What's making the fans so confident? Because it's Bangladesh. <laughs> the World Cup 
quarter final before because it's Bangladesh. They, they will not be able to take the pressure. And if you see the body language of the Bangladesh team, after over number 30 in the last 20 overs, the body language was quite diffident. Yeah. They had almost given up. Mashrafi was just playing his arms. And I think half a millimeter, Suresh Raina's LBW and that catch, yeah. Rubel Hussain, Rohit Sharma has done Bangladesh in this World Cup. Okay. Yeah, and we sometimes, uh, sometimes small moments can actually take the momentum away from you and even bring the confidence of the team down. That uh, so Suresh Raina close LBW shout would have been such a huge turning point. Let's go across to Rachi, Captain Dhoni's hometown as well. Remember, he's already overtaken Clive Lloyd with 10 consecutive World Cup wins and now he's going for his 11th and who knows, maybe two more in store. Rohit, uh, fans in Rachi praying for MS Dhoni, isn't it? Well, there is a little bit of disappointment here in Rachi that the local boy did not get enough chance to score runs today. He scored just uh, six runs today, but still the fans here believe that 302 is enough and can be defended. Let's speak to some of the fans here. Kya aapko lagta hai 302 safe score? Haan, oh, Bangladesh ke team ke saamne India ka jo score hai, oh 302 safe score hai. Aur kisi bhi halat mein India hi jitega. Pakistan, eh, Bangladesh nahi jit sakti. I think that the only thing that we have to do is make a lot of money. Verdict from the people in Rachi, the fans in Rachi, ki it is almost done. 302 is yeah. more than enough, and Bangladesh cannot achieve that target. And they are through to the semi finals, and now they are waiting that with whom they will be fighting it out whether it will be Australia or whether it will be Pakistan. Absolutely, another India Pakistan semi finals could be on the line. We don't want to talk too much about it right now. They have to get across uh, Australia first. But uh, if we still have Borea, which I believe we still do, Borea, can you still hear me? Come on, Manish. I can, I can. Keep oh, going. Okay, so a special comment, a question here from Andrew for you. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, Borea. Uh, Andrew <laughs> Simons here, sir. I am wondering, sir, if uh, wow. myself, sir, and Nikhil <laughs> can come, sir, to Australia for the final, sir. Uh, business class, sir. You promised me, sir. Uh, you know, Sh you know Shivani, I'll pass that on to MS Dhoni and the Chennai Super Kings. Andrew Simons, honorary member of the Chennai Super Kings, with that beautiful South Indian accent. And we will fly him down, chartered flight, to come and do the semi-finals and the final for us. And, and, in Sydney, out of the 45,000 against Australia, there'll be 40,000 Indians oh, mobbing absolutely. Andrew Simons. Sir, for sir, a South but Indian sir, accent. I need my wingman, sir. <laughs> But, mate, you know, it's going to be uh, a big game, I'll tell you that, semi final. Uh, we're going ahead of ourselves, we still need to go out there and defend the three. And we, two. I mean, you're going ahead as far as Australia is concerned, too. Absolutely. Nobody knows if they're secure in their place. No, but I guess Andrew, the kind of sorry. cricket that Australia has been playing it's a two way, well It's a two-way race. I, I'm an analyst. <laughs> <laughs> no, but as, as we said earlier, that's too many for Bangladesh, if India bowl well. It's hmm. far too many. But um, you never know, you know, they could... They're a fighting side. They, they get in a battle. You saw it in the middle of this game, the first half of this game. They got in the battle and they stayed in the battle. Yeah. And they just lost it in the back end. Mm. But we'll see what happens in, 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 shortly. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's take some more comments from the fans in Melbourne. Uh, uh, Borea, we have a separate agenda going on in the studio as far as Andrew and Nikhil are concerned. Uh, but uh, a lot of these fans only care about an India win, isn't it? If they do, they do. Why don't I ask a couple of them? You think India's got enough? Yeah, it's, it's enough for uh, India. Bangladesh will not uh, get that one. They will be lost uh, by 150 okay. runs. Okay, you think you think India's got enough? Yep, definitely. So let's do a uh, cheer I for India. Come on. Come on. Hip 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 hip
Ashok and Shri Sivani, the party is about to start. I know Andrew Simons in with his South Indian accent and a special charter flight. Outside the MCG would be a real draw. I'll take that for the final. Headlines today, TRPs will go skyrocketing upwards and we'll get Mohendra Singh Dhoni to appoint him a language consultant for the Chennai Super League. <laughs> Actually, he's more in love with Hyderabad, uh, Borea, so we can try uh, the other team as well, isn't it, Andrew? Okay. You'll, you'll choose Chennai or Hyderabad, okay, Andrew? So, so Hyder I'm a Hyderabad boy. Hyderabad boy. Okay, so Hyderabad. <laughs> okay, so Hyderabad biryani for Andrew in Melbourne. We'll organize that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, the fans will love that. You can go to a nice Indian restaurant uh, once they beat Australia in the semi-final uh, at Sydney, isn't it, uh, nice uh, Andrew? Nice little chicken biryani here with my wingman <laughs> in his orange in his orange coat. All here, right. You know. So the lead man and the wingman, uh, Andrew and Nikhil, all ready to go to Sydney and Melbourne, hopefully for India. Borea and the fans, uh, Rohit, Rasesh, Nikhil, and uh, Andrew. Thanks a lot for joining us. For the meantime, we're going to come back the moment the second innings is over, and hopefully it will be a one a one big party for Indian fans. That's all. Goodbye, Sydney.